Welcome to the channel, my pack cracking family, Clever Magic Trevor here, and I uh, just got back from a signing. So uh, one of the more blessed signings, uh, first time home buyers, some of my favorites. So uh, I don't want to take up too much time. Let's get into the video. This is a very iconic video. Red Rover, Red Rover, bring iconic masters on over. Yes, box one of two, we have some Hopefully happy contestants here. Some sponsors with some numbers, very familiar names. Man, we got the best community. We really do. And that goes for all the magic community, but especially the pack crack and family. Everybody that's subbed in, I appreciate that. All right. Oh, the packs got all messed up. Oh my goodness. Oh, Lordy, Lord, Lord. What is going on here? This happened to me on the last one too. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, look, I mean, uh, they're pretty much all mixed up as it is anyways. It is what it is. Oh, pause one second. Sorry about that. There were some ever so slightly uh, raps at the door. Somebody with their fingernails, they didn't want to bug me, but had a question <laughs> or, or did want to bug me. I don't really know. Okay, um, oh, hold on, they're knocking again. Sorry, guys. All right, that blip probably felt like no time at all for you, but uh, somebody at the door and then my phone ring in, people. Oh, okay, let's get back to this. We are, uh, let's split this up before somebody else interrupts me. Huh? Start over here. Harry F, he seems to get in in all the breaks. I appreciate that, that's always fun. Three for you. Anthony T, another guy. Lots and lots of breaks. Okay, two for you. My man, Paz Brown. Paz Brown. So I actually sold the mystery boosters out from underneath him. And uh, it was a total accident uh, the way it worked on the website. It just, uh, he wasn't able to purchase it on the website and he wanted some, so I ended up deducting it off. And then it ended up actually going through on somebody else. <laughs> and so, um, anywho. That's how it works out. So go five. So I had to uh, give that other person, and since he's a content creator and totally understanding dude, he agreed, even though he was hoping for the mysteries to go with the iconic. So what are we going for the, in this? You know, I can uh, two and two for the pack crack and family. Uh, I can obviously say that mana drain would be the hit that everybody wants to get. Um, I don't know if I should go first with you, Dave. I'm gonna let Paz go first. He deserves to go first. Uh, man, I, I personally, uh, and I did buy packs in the next box opening. Um, I personally, I, I'd kind of want an Avacyn or a, what is that Sphinx? The Consecrated Sphinx, am I? No mana leak. You know, it's a master set, so there's some uh, decent commons and uncommons. And a hunting pack is gonna enlarge. Doom blade and rune scar demon. Rune scar demon. Not one of the bigger hits, but common phantom monster. Okay. So pause. Let's get. Uh, I mean, that wasn't terrible, but let's get a better one for you here. Okay. It's been a while since I opened Iconic, so I'm kind of like looking through these, trying <laughs> trying to remember what is in the set besides uh, besides you know some of the big rares and whatnot. And mythics. Oh, Nimbus Maze. Not bad. Not bad. Well, well, well. You're pull, you're pulling the uh, the common 
foils. We need to get you a bigger hit there, Paws. Okay. Fury Charm. Okay, the Meander. I don't know how many sets that one's in. Pristine Talisman. Talismans are always good in my opinion. Fireball and Blood Baron of Vizcopa. And Claustrophobia. Uh, not too terrible, but uh, definitely uh, left with, uh, you know, wanting a little bit more on this one. Let's put you off to the side here, pause. Make room, make room. Anthony T, it is your turn. It is your turn in the gauntlet. All right. Hammer hand. Leave the stampede, of course. And there's good old gutter snipe. Oh, another pride mate. Of course, of course. Tavern swindler. And fluster storm. Not the most value. Kind of a fun card. Amass the components. Okay. Last pack for you in this one. I did not see if you bought more in the, in the next box. I went straight up the list of uh, who purchased first. So these are the first purchasers. The next box, well, they're the next purchasers. I love those monuments. Rare. Okay, you got an angel. I hope you like angels. Another common. Seeker of the way. I, you know, I feel like we're uh, we're do something on this. So um, I don't know who's gonna hit it, but uh, somebody needs to start us off with some fire. Maybe pull a. What else is in this set? A horizon canopy, right? Right. Let's go you now, Dave. Let's see if you can start us off. Maybe get us a thought seize or a. Is aether vial in here? Can't remember. I think Aether Vial's in here. There's a good old Evolving Wilds. Okay. Being trolled with an adequate Falconer into Austere Command. Not bad, not bad. Uncommon Gruel Turf. Okay, okay. Lots of packs left, so, you know, I don't know. Who's gonna be the first like major hit? Who's gonna be the first major hit? Is it gonna be Dave right now? Like major hit we're talking about. There's another evolving. It's Cryptic Command. Yeah, Cryptic Command's an iconic, I think. Okay, got the charm. Aetherize. It's like euthanize, but aetherize. And a Sphinx. Of Uthun. You know, it wasn't the Sphinx I was looking for. And you got yourself a Fury Charm. And you got yourself a Fury Charm. Okay, Dave B. It wasn't terrible. Not great. Not great. Harry, you're up, buddy. I think we got. Well, let's see. What's that card? Dang, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Elish Norn. Oh, okay, Elish Norn's in here, right? Okay. Did I, did I go too far? I was thinking. Ooh, a bobble. And Kokusho with a common mannequin. That is a mannequin. Okay, Harry. That was one. I don't think we haven't hit a mythic yet, have we? No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, no, no. There's another pride mate. I see a number of those. A jungle barrier. Another blade wing risen. So you got two of them. Here you go. First mythic. Oh, the voice of of hunger. I think the I think this one's the most expensive out of the bunch. Boring clicks? Ah, uh, eh, 
could be wrong, but I think I think that as far as Praetors go, I think he's the most expensive one. So, man, congratulations, Harry Yev. Woo! That was some that was some spice. And yeah, <laughs> you pulled two of these, and then you pull a, a foil. Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. But that's what you get for pulling that nice Praetor. I mean, if that's the most expensive, it's got to be 25, 30 bucks. I think that I think that one's the one that's the most expensive. Man, that's a, regardless, I think that was a nice hit. That was a nice hit. So the Voice of Hunger, I know it's played. It's got to be worth a decent amount. People like their uh, Praetors. Let's see, a Grove of the Burn Willows. I'd be happy with that. You know, that's a, it's not bad. It's not bad. And you got a common. Greater Basilisk. Sorry guys, we're going a little bit slower through this, but uh, these master sets are just so awesome. They're just so awesome. Congratulations, Harry F. That was, you know, a $25 card or something like that. Daniel W, can you match that? Can you match it? Man, I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Dan seems to be, go he's streaky. You know, kind of like my basketball career. Very streaky. Sometimes when you're on fire, you're fi on fire, and then other times you're just not, you know? And it's almost embarrassing. Rare Aether Vial. What do you think? $20 Aether Vial. At least I think it's still $20 or roughly about there. Great hit, man. Great hit. So you're back on the three point li line, huh? That's good. That is real good. We've got an Oracle, a Tempest, a Dragon, and Anger of the Gods with a Duress. Yeah, that's a, you know, that's kind of a cool common foil. Anger of the Gods, I have no idea how much that's worth. For three drop, red, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Sword Splasher, there you go. Electrolyze, not too shabby. And here you go. Boom! The Blue Praetor. And I, I think he's the second most expensive. I could be wrong on all this. <laughs> but I think he's about 20 bucks. I should really research this stuff before I start filming and looking like a fool just a straight fool I'm pretty sure he's about 20 bucks there right or right around there let's go to the family let's see what the family can pull probably the mana drain because I've never pulled a mana drain and then I'll steal it and give you guys something different because that's kind of how that goes if I can pay for a box and then give cheaper prices to you guys that's what it's kind of all about I'm just saying, I'm just justifying my unjust actions. No big deal. Source of supply share, we enjoy that. And we got a mythic. Ooh, we got the red Praetor. And I don't know, Urbask. Ah, I don't think he's one of the more expensive ones. I've never played with him. The Praetors are cool though, man. They make for some uh, neat, neat decks. Okay, so we got a priest and a boil works. What's going on here? Uh, put source of plowshare in its own category because it's that great of a card. And we got a restoration angel with an aerial predation. An aerial predation. Yes, folks, that is what we got. I hope somebody can uh, enjoy the cards from the pack, Kraken family. Let's go over here to Mr. Lucky, Mr. Michael R. If you guys recall, Mr. Michael R. Well, we opened a uh, Almond Ket box, and he will be forever known as the guy that hit the lottery card recently on that opening. So let's see what type of magic he's gonna bring for us today, mainly for himself. Oh, Hydra. 
Hydras are getting popular right now, and you do get the foil rare. Cryptic Command. I have no idea how much that's worth. It's about $16, $17, $18 card as it is. I would imagine foil, I don't know, 30 bucks. Holy crud. You are so lucky, Michael R. Holy crud. If you pull another major hit out of this one, I'm gonna skip your comments because I'm, I'm not even gonna look at those because we gotta go straight to the goodness. But if you pull another major one, this video might never happen. Scourge of Gal Valkus. Not a major, major hit, but dang. Nobody's complaining right there. I'm gonna have to look at it. I'm Obviously I'm gonna put the price on there, but I am very curious on the price of that foil. That foil cryptic command. Okay, Cody, you got one. You got one right here, okay? Let's make it good, okay? And then we got Joshi who's got one underneath there. Okay. I never, I never enjoyed that uh, that art right there. I'm just saying. That lightning helix is cool though. Okay, and yeah, the Hellkite, not the best hit. Not terrible, not the best hit. Not the best hit. Cody D, Cody D, thank you. Let's see what we do for Josh E. The good old Manalik. Salt formation. We got the Tormentor. Another Hydra here. And Curse of Predation. It's kind of a cool curse. And you got a common Pentark Ward. Okay, not terrible. Not, you know, you always want to hit the big hits. That's the thing. And the determination of the box is kind of by the big hits that you hit. Like, what's the foil? That you, that you hit, you know? What are the foils? So, uh, the foil rares, or rare, if you even get one. I've seen them, many boxes without them. All right, Tanner S, you're up. You got five. You got five on it. I'm terrible at singing, I know, I know. <sighs> Crucible of Fire, not a bad hit. Nature's Claim. Okay, let's get you some. Uh, let's get you just some extreme value. I don't know if you want a mana drain, but I could try to pull that for you. Just saw this assassin in a foil, and there's the swindler, an ambusher, and the, a demon, a demon, and a thought scour. Okay, so we've got three left. Let's make it happen, Tanner. Let's make it happen. And by it, I mean whatever you're hoping to pull. Okay, the Morning Star. Ooh, a rift, foil rift bolt. Not shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. We'll do some, like, maybe a really good rare. Sorry, I took that off screen. That was terrible of me. Trying to see out the window and it wasn't thinking. There's a Mistress Bobble. You're gonna bobble that up. And a rare Oblivion Stone. Not bad, but a common Blinding Mage. Okay, last pack of the crack. Again. Okay. Do we slow roll this or do we just, just reveal it? I think we just. There's a. Nice Dijun and a Pyromancer and a rare Lord of the Pit. I gotta be honest, you know, this is such an old school iconic card. I mean, you can't be mad to pull that right there. A 6-6 six, six foil mythic primeval. 
I have no idea the price on this. No idea. I hope it's a million dollars. I don't think it will be. Wow, that was a great last pack though. Fantastic last pack. Uh, man, that Lord of the Pit is just so iconic. I, uh, I love that card. I love it. It's not the most powerful card. It's an old card, but it's beautiful. So anyways, thank you everyone. You know, uh, maybe I'll do the total on this one to see if Iconic Masters is even worth it. And there it is. There, 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 there. Oh man, what'd you guys think? I thought it was pretty good. It's Iconic Masters, so if you don't get a really, really big hit, but we got a ton of, uh, you know, about $20 cards, so it was pretty exciting. There was a few of them that I forgot. I guess I forgot the value. Um, what's that one? It's the Evening Star one. Oh, gosh. Starts with a K. I'm drawing a blank on his name again. I just skimmed right past him. He, you know, he's a $22 card or something like that. Just, yeah, you know, just another thing. So, uh, so we'll see what happens on this uh, the, this next box. I thought this was a pretty good box. We, we got some decent hits. Um, I tried... I tried to spread it around. I didn't try to spread it around, but it seemed like it got spread around, you know, a decent amount. So, uh, and had, uh, let's see, we had a, we had a foil mythic and a foil rare, right? I'm drawing a blank on which ones they were, but you know, I, overall, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was a pretty good box. Anytime you can get uh, close to the value of the box out of uh, Iconic or Masters 25 or any of those, uh, is spot on. It is spot on. So congratulations, guys. Thanks so much. Um, we've got the other one coming up later this week. Uh, super excited for that, too. And the mystery boosters are for sale right now. I was talking to uh, Crack and Packs MTG, and we're both under the uh, opinion that mystery booster boxes don't get used to the price. They're going to start skyrocketing here soon. Um, it just... There's too much value in them. I bet you they're going to start skyrocketing. So, anyways, you guys know what to do. Subscribe, like the channel. Uh, more, Most importantly, you, you know, pay it forward to, to somebody. Uh, take care of them. It's just, you know. And you know what? Give some smiles out for free. Don't charge people for the smiles. Don't charge people for, for the smiles. So, uh, free smiles. And share the video if you can. But we'll catch you on the next video.